I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw proper nouns which are still like common nouns. They're still person, place, or thing. First thing we're going to do is draw our tic-tac-toe grid. So that's two straight lines going down, two straight lines going across. Okay? Now, a proper noun is a specific name for a particular person, place, or thing. So as an example, come over here to this first space, draw me a dot, let's draw a circle, straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line connect. Come down on the left and put a curved line down on the left, Curve line down on the right, slightly curved line, connect. Come on the left hand side, curve line out, in, connect. Right hand side, curve line out, in, connect. Come inside, put one dot, two dots, curve line in the center, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line on the right and the left. Draw me a wavy, wavy line, jump over. Wavy line down on the left, wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line on the right. This is a person. And as a common noun, we would say he's a boy. But he is a proper noun. So see, I'm going to put these wavy lines right here. And his name is Bobby. That is a proper noun. So whenever we draw a proper noun, I'm going to put these little wavy lines next to it. Come to the second space. Come up to the top, put a dot, straight line over, straight line down, straight diagonal over, wavy, wavy, wavy line, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, straight line down, wavy, wavy line, bring it out, wavy line in and connect. This is a place. In a common noun, it is a state. But as a proper noun, this is a capital, California. And here are my wavy lines because these, that is a proper noun. Now I come over to thing and I'm going to put a dot at the top Draw, curve line down, come back to the dot, curve line up, over, in, and connect. We're going to mimic this line at the bottom, curve line up, in, connect. We're going to put a little curve line at the top, little curve lines across the center, one loop, two loops. And this is a shoe, which is a thing. But as soon as I add a swoosh, curve line up, out, curve line in, connect, all of a sudden my shoe becomes a Nike shoe. And that has a capital letter. That is a proper noun. And those are my wavy lines. Come down to the next space. We're going to draw one, two, three straight lines. Right here, we're going to draw a slightly curved line, connect. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a straight line, curve line, up, connect. On the left, straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Inside, little curved line on the left little curve line on the right, dot, dot, curve line in the center, little curve line, and put a dot right there because we're now going to add 
loop-de-loops up and over and this now becomes per okay it is a person and it is a man but it is a proper noun this is president capitalization president and I'm just going to put Abe for Abraham Lincoln and that is our proper noun now I come over to the middle section I draw a straight line come over to the left one two three straight lines come inside one two three straight lines and one line in the center this is a place a common noun is store but as soon as we name this Walmart the store becomes a place of a proper noun. I'm going to draw another straight line and straight diagonals. There's my parking lot. Okay, come to the next space. We're going to draw a flat oval, straight line down. On the left, straight line down. On the right, come back to the left and just draw a little straight, I mean a little slightly curved line. Come up to the top, we're just going to put a curved line. This is a thing. What is it? It is a soda. Okay. Now, as soon as I identify it, I'm going to put some little curved lines, curved lines. This is a Coca-Cola soda. Now, all of a sudden, Coca-Cola is my proper noun, there's my lines, for my soda. Okay? Come down over here to this space. Put a dot. Let's draw the letter U and put a curved line on top. Straight diagonal up. Curved line, curved line, curved line. Keep going. Straight diagonal down. Let's put a baby circle at the top of each one of the, my spikes. Inside, one dot, two dots, little turned up nose, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now, let's put wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right, little wavy line on the left and the right. If you have room, straight line, straight line, curve line. This is a person. Common noun, it is a woman. But we are going to make this Queen Elizabeth. That is a proper noun. Okay? Now come over to this space, draw a straight line, straight diagonal down off the page. Come over here, draw a straight line, diagonal line off the page. Or let's leave it floating, that's better. This is a place. The place is a canyon. That is a common noun. However, this is the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Let's put the river in between and off the page. The Grand Canyon, here are my wavy lines. Here's Queen Elizabeth also. So that we know the Grand Canyon is the proper noun for that canyon space. I'm going to add another little wa wibble wobble for my river. Come to the last space. This is going to be a thing. Put a dot. Straight line, curve line, straight line up, curve line connect. Mimic that again all the way around, up, connect, right here let's just draw a curve line, curve line in, out, little spike, down here baby circle. This is a cell phone, that is a common noun, a thing, however this is an iPhone and that makes it a proper noun. Okay? Alright.
person, place, thing, person, place, thing, person, place, thing, all proper nouns. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we have a lot of writing, so we're going to keep the coloring simple. So I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color in Bobby. Bobby is my proper noun. My common noun is he's a boy. You can color him in any way you want. I'm doing black and brown. And so that you can see his proper name, Bobby, I'm going to do this yellow. Okay. Next, common noun, state, proper noun, California, the golden state. So I'm making this yellow. Shoe, thing, common noun. I'm making mine a Nike shoe. So I'm just going to color in my swoosh. My next one is a person. He is a man. I'm just going to color in his hat. Give him some brown whiskers. Yes, he is a person. Yes, he is a man. But if we are talking proper nouns, President Abe Lincoln. Next, Walmart. All I'm going to do is just add some blue-green. That's my place. It's a store, but it's Walmart. Okay. Next, my can of soda. I'm just going to add some red because everybody knows that is a Coca-Cola. Come down to my queen, which is a common noun. I'm going to do blue-green for her crown. Let's give her a yellow crown. Okay. And some pink clips. She is a person. She is a woman. But she is Queen Elizabeth. Alright, next place, my canyon. I'm just going to take my brown, do my sides. Okay. Take my blue-green, do my river. Because my canyon is a place, which is a common noun. But the Grand Canyon is the proper noun. Last but not least, cell phone. I'm just going to take my black and do the outside rim. Cell phone. That is the common noun. Mine is an iPhone, and that is why it is a proper noun. Now, to remember what my proper nouns are, I'm going to take my red, and each time, whoops, there's one. Each time I come to a proper noun, I'm going to add a little red zigzag, zigzag, or a curve line, curve line, so I don't forget that the red are proper nouns, okay? Person, place, and thing. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my proper nouns, all colored in. Remember, they're always capitalized in English, no matter where they fall in a sentence. Okay, bye-bye.